David here with Vig Boot on Pens, back again with a very special fountain pen review. What makes it special? Well, a couple of things. Uh, what I have for you today is what I feel is a very interesting custom pen from Sean Newton, and that is the Newton Prospector. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Newton Prospector, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it, this unique pen, show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, then stay tuned because I will be announcing a brand new puzzle contest and the prize for this new contest it will be the very pen I am reviewing today. Uh, Sean Newton is a talented pen maker out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. Sean started out his career as a teacher. Uh, he enjoyed fountain pens and decided it might be fun to start making his own pens rather than buying from other companies. He ended up selling off most of his personal collection to purchase pen making equipment and began turning pens on his own. He would ask fellow teachers to nominate students they felt were deserving of recognition and he would make them each a custom pen. He even ran Kickstarter campaigns where you ordered a pen and a second pen was given away to a deserving student. Uh, over time, Sean developed a name for himself in fountain pen circles, and in 2015, he left his teaching job to make pens full time. But his passion for education continues in a scholarship program that I will discuss here in a bit. But first, let's take a look at a pen. Uh, the pen arrives in this simple cardboard box. Uh, it also has some instructions in here about a little history about Sean Newton and his company. Uh, inside the box is a uh, really nice uh, branded pen sleeve. Sean's wife, Elizabeth, hand makes all of these pen sleeves that come with the pens. Uh, they're very nice quality. And inside we have a pen. This is the Newton Prospector in a pinstripe acrylic. Uh, this is a very zebra-like material. Um, the key design feature of this Prospector is that it is round in the middle, and then as you make your way both towards both ends, it transitions into a triangular shape. Um, let's start by taking a look at the cap. Uh, it is the aforementioned triangular shape. Uh, the ends are one of my favorite parts of this pen. That cross section really shows off this striped acrylic, and the edges are nicely rounded. Uh, the triangular shape smoothly transitions into the circular middle of the pen. Uh, now this is a clipless model. Uh, even though there are flat portions of the cap and barrel, uh, if you do set this pen down, only the middle portion makes contact with the surface, so this pen will roll around if you're not careful. Uh, that's fine though. Uh, this is a design I feel looks most attractive without a clip or a roll stop. But since all Newton pens are custom made, if you would care to add something like a roll stop or a unique clip, uh, it's always an option. I've actually had Sean create a custom pen for me before. Uh, it's a rather lengthy story, so I won't go into it in this video. I've discussed it in the past, but I had an idea for a pen and Sean brought that idea to life. Uh, and part of the process was having this custom lightning bolt clip made. Um, it's very, very cool. Uh, Sean's great to work with. If you have an idea for a custom pen and would like to see it come to fruition, then he should be high on the list of people that you should call. Okay, back to the prospector in hand. Uh, at the end of the cap, there is the Newton logo. Uh, now, it's very subtle. You really don't even see it there unless the light hits it just right. The cap transitions into the barrel where the design repeats itself, tapering down to a triangular end which is flat. The cap twists off to reveal this number six Yovo steel nib, which is coated in black. Um, I feel that having a black nib on this pen was the right choice. I think it matches the black and white color scheme of this pen well. Uh, the nib is engraved with the Newton logo. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section is concave, and I find the size and shape to be very comfortable, even for extended writing sessions. The section transitions into the threads, which I don't find to be sharp at all. And then there's a somewhat steep step up to the barrel. I find that since this step up is set so far back, uh, it is out of the way and my grip never rests on it, which is a good thing. 
This is a cartridge converter pen. Uh, it accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is included. Uh, since there are no metal parts in here, you could eyedropper this pen as well. Uh, and with this unique cap, uh, it will not post, but it's plenty long enough to use unposted. Uh, if you have watched a number of my reviews, you will know that I am somewhat particular in regard to alignment on my pens. This striped material can pose some unique challenges for a pen maker in regard to alignment, and I have to say that Sean has done an outstanding job in those regards. Uh, to begin with, with pens with a distinct pattern which continues from cap to barrel, it could be challenging how you align the cap and nib in order to have this material match. See, I just randomly put it on there, and it doesn't quite look as good because it doesn't match. There's multiple cap threads, so there's several orientation possibilities. What Sean has done is he had made this issue simple. On this prospector, you simply align the nib with the top, with the, uh, top of the cap where the Newton logo is, and when you do that, it will align perfectly. Next up is a part which really impressed me, which is the transition from the section to the barrel. There is a single thread, and when you tighten the section, uh, you can see here that the stripes line up virtually perfect. Um, it's attention to detail like that, which I really appreciate. I am going to regret having to give this pen away. At several shows, I have visited Sean's table and picked up one of these models in this material and came very close to purchasing it. I have a feeling that one of these is going to make my way into uh, my collection very soon because I do care for it a great deal. Uh, this design is unique. This material is very cool in my opinion. And as you will see in the writing sample, it performs very well. Sean makes some great pens. Uh, and this model retails for $395 on his site. And I feel it's well worth that money. Uh, in regard to the puzzle contest, to begin with, on the internet, what you will need to do is go to a site that might be a good place to learn more about the Sean Newton scholarships. Once there, you will need to follow some clues. Uh, over the last seven videos, from my overview of the ST DuPont line until this very video, somewhere in the background there has been one set of clues which will lead you and let you know where on that site you should begin your search. Once you have solved the puzzle, it will be very clear to you and you will be provided with a set of instructions on how to officially enter the giveaway for this very pen. Uh, compared to some of my other pu puzzle contests, I would rank this one as fairly simple. Um, it's not bra as brain busting as some of the previous giveaways, so don't let any frustrations over previous puzzles, puzzles uh, prevent you from solving this one. I'm confident that you can do it. And during the process, you might just learn a little something as well. Uh, the winner will be randomly selected from the correct entries. The deadline for solving the puzzle and entering the drawing will be one week from when this video is posted. So you have a bit longer than I typically give. Uh, this is a very cool prize and I want as many people as possible to have a chance to walk away with this very unique pen. And like I said, I really don't want to give this pen away. I would prefer to add it to my own collection, but I am confident that whomever wins this Newton Prospector will thoroughly enjoy their new pen. So, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Newton Prospector. I just love the ribboning on this pen. It just looks really unique. But in regard to some comparisons for some other custom pens, uh, here is the Pensler Kraken. Uh, and then here is a Ryan Krusak Legend 16 with Scrimshaw. There's reviews of both of these pens on my site if you'd like to see these more closely. Uh, and then finally, the Carolina Pen uh, Company Charleston. And so you can see that with custom pens, you can get a wide variety of looks that are very unique and very interesting. In regard to some more standard pens, here it is with a Pilot 823, a Sailor 1911 Large, and then for reasons that will become evident here shortly, a Mont Blanc Hitchcock. And in regard to some uncapped comparisons, here it is with those three 
same pens. So here we have the Newton Prospector. This is a broad stainless steel nib, and the idea with this nib was that uh, Sean wanted to provide a broad nib so that if the winner wanted to uh, get a special grind on this, then there would be plenty of tipping available to do so. And the ink that I'm using is a very special ink, and that would be Vaness Good Evening. This is what the ink looks like. Uh, it is meant to invoke and be inspired by uh, Mont Blanc Hitchcock Red, which is no longer in production and very hard to come by. Uh, here it is in regard to Monteverde Mercury Noir. The Mercury Noir is a little bit lighter than that. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, the ink on this very cool bottle is done by Joey Feldman, and this picture here is meant to uh, be in, uh, inspired by the famous Alfred Hitchcock profile pose. Uh, this is a limited edition ink produced by Van Ness, and I know they have a small number of bottles still available. I was able to pick up a couple of them and I was glad I was able to do so, uh, That, but they will be gone soon. I will go ahead and put a link in the notes below where you can check this out on the uh, Van Ness site. Uh, if you like reds, kind of dusty, bloody reds, then I would highly recommend picking up a bottle of this while it's still available because they're not going to be available for much longer. Okay, in regard to the rest of the writing sample. Uh, this broad Yovo nib is nice. You're not going to get tons of flex out of this nib. You get a little bit, and it railroaded just a little bit. But um, in regard to ink flow, I haven't had much of an issue with this pen. This ink is a bit on the drier side, as you can see here, in regard to some reverse writing. It is a little bit sharp, but it's usable. And in regards to some fast writing, it works just fine. So this is the Newton Prospector. Um, as I said, I will be giving away this pen uh, with a puzzle contest. Make sure to follow the clues, and I'm sure that you won't have any problem in solving this mystery. And I am sure that whoever wins this pen will be glad that they have it in their collection because I, I think it's pretty awesome. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.